Hello my friends, hello my subscribers, welcome to another edition of, uh, I, don't know, I don't know what to call this channel, uh, maybe Homeless Boat Hermit, sounds like fun. Anyway, uh, it's Monday, uh, I've already got a lot done, let's see, uh, first project of today was, uh, and I'm still running it, is testing out the autopilot, let me switch cameras. Notice that the boat does not have a normal pedestal for the wheel. It's uh, got uh, what we call worm gear steering. So there's not a normal pedestal to mount the autopilot. So I built this uh, platform out of uh, plywood and uh, these pieces here are 3D printed. Oops, I'm, I'm not in gear. That's why it's not working. So let me put it in uh, gear here. And we're kind of testing out the autopilot. Here's our head unit. I went scuba diving on Saturday, or I, I tried to go. So I'm drying out my booties. They feel dry, actually. Took it two days to dry out. They're dry. Put those down below. I'll store those later. I did do laundry this morning. Kind of just bucket laundry. shared the pickles and had a good conversation with Brian. Now I'm heading back to the boat because I gotta go to the bathroom. Uh, hello my friends, hello my subscribers. Uh, we're taking uh, Gitana out for a uh, test cruise. Uh, trying to test out the batteries and uh, whatnot. I am currently well, let me switch cameras here so you can see what's kind of going on. We are running at about... Uh, ...34 amps. Uh, we're still showing 50 volts. And we're going to run 1400 RPM. That is calibrated for lead acid, so I'm uh, not sure about the longevity, but it's telling me I got hours at this uh, amp rate. I didn't record our start time. I'm also testing the autopilot, so let me uh, engage a little bit. Engage. And just hit auto here. And auto is driving, except we're going off course a little bit. The wind is kind of picking up a little bit. I think I want to be in control here in the harbor. about 1.7 knots and I figure we're about at 1400 RPMs but I'm only at the partial throttle here let's maybe speed up a little bit so 16 17 
Now we're doing about two knots, uh, 82 amps, but we're using up battery power here. Hello again. Let's see a little update on what we're doing today. Uh, what is it? I woke up uh, in the middle of the night and struggled to go back to sleep and eventually slept in basically after falling back to sleep. So what am I doing today? I'm uh, producing last week's video. Hopefully I'll upload that today. So producing video, waiting for it, then I'll take it over and uh, upload. Oh, there I am. Hey. Then uh, today I'm going to try making my own hummus. Uh, here's the crock pot that I got at the thrift store in Utah. And I got garbanzo beans from the local market. And I'm going to cook those up. And then uh, look up a uh, hummus recipe on the internet. Do that. And because, what was it, I went to the local market here, and I got this uh, little mini food processor, boat, a boat-sized uh, food processor. So today we're going to make some hummus, because I like hummus, and it's not available locally except at restaurants. I was on my way to the shower, and I passed by the trash cans, and... Uh, the, uh, tr the uh, trash Santa left me some presents. Uh, it looks like a very good, uh, high-quality teak sitting stool, and I've been looking for a stool for inside the boat. And a uh, new, never used, uh, I guess we'd call it new open box uh, travel toilet. My boat has uh, basically just a bucket and stuff, so uh, now I might have a portable uh, Porta potty for uh, I guess more d domesticated guests. Right? I, I'm comfortable with a jug and bucket. We'll take a look at that. Maybe we can use it. Maybe not. But the since there's nobody else here, I'll give you a tour of the facilities at the Baja Naval Marina. The uh, morning ritual. Showers. So this is where I come every morning to do my things and stuff. It's on the second floor. Be a little bit careful here. Sometimes this uh, painted portion can be slippery. Oops, I better put my mask on here. Yeah, the uh, trash fairies left this uh, teak stool for me, or maybe it was Trash Santa, I'm not sure who did it. I've actually been looking for a stool. I was going to get a cheap plastic one, because when I sit in front of the computer, I'm having to sit over here and my arms stretch out and uh, I get really tired. So I've been wanting a, a stool for quite a while, actually. This is going to be really nice, I think. Oh, this is going to be perfect. It, it slides away out of the, or slides away under the table. 
I can come over here, sit down on it in front of the computer. Oh, much, much better, much better. I'm going to love this. Be more productive. I found this little uh, mini food processor at a local market because I thought it would be good to make my own hummus. So this morning I made a uh, crock pot full of garbanzo beans and uh, kind of just guessing at the recipe after talking to some people. When you get a craving, uh, sometimes you gotta go for it. There's some garbanzo beans, maybe some olive oil. I'm kind of just guessing at the amounts here. Olive oil. I'll refill that. I got some other olive oil today. Maybe some, uh, whoops. Maybe some garlic salt. What do you think? Yeah, let's see what else goes in there. Maybe uh, some, uh, maybe a little bit of water because we want to kind of we'll get some of the broth from the. And I think some lemon juice will go in there. Lime juice, close enough, obviously. Gives it a tartar flavor, plus acts as a preservative, similar to when you put it in guacamole. And what I like to put in my uh, hummus is uh, kind of a curry powder. We've got this garam masala stuff, which is just like curry powder. I don't know what the difference is really. I'm just kind of guessing at the amounts. And let's give it a try here, see what happens. Oh, I guess it also needs, before we do that, you're supposed to give it a, it also needs some sesame oil. They usually use tahina, but uh, access to that but I got a lot of the sesame oil last time I was at uh, the Asian markets in San Diego now let's try this see what happens this is actually my second batch Looks like hummus to me. Let's try it here. Since I might be sharing, I, uh, I'm going to use a different spoon to taste it with. Looks like hummus. Tastes like hummus. I call it hummus.